What's going on there, YouTube? Back with another um, video with the Ibanez RGA 42FM. Gonna do something simple tonight that I find um, I like to do often. It's making just a simple song out of a basic chord progression where basically part of the melody, I'm not sure how to explain this, I don't take theory or anything. We're not talking solos or anything crazy, but where the notes don't change that carry over into the melody throughout the whole song. Um, might sound confusing, might sound difficult, but I find it extremely rewarding when trying to come up with like a melody um, to go over it with vocals or to come up with it for an instrumental type solo application. Um, so I'm going to show you one that I use often. This is one of my own songs and uh, it's actually a really pretty melody. I get in the zone when I play this one a lot and think of all sorts of different colors and textures that can go over it as well as drum patterns I could do over it. So you let me know what you think. That's one of my favorites. I want to show that with you because basically this doesn't change. These are my bass notes. And then when it gets to the chorus. Kind of reminds me of like the lower notes the on a on a piano. It kind of gives me that vibe. But the notes that never change throughout the whole thing. That rings out through every single chord I'm playing. great concept you can write solos around that you can still hear that fade now that's a beautiful effect that is the TC electronic T2 sound like a tongue twister TC electronic T2 it's called the Trinity um, that's one of my favorite pedals I use it often um, let me put this on the stand here I do that often and uh, it's just one of my favorite pedals for creating kind of a you know underlying ambient effect Kind of adds depth, adds uh, a wider mix in there for your tone, and uh, 
to do simple solo patterns and stuff over it, um, to think of almost like a polyrhythmic drum pattern, that's just a pattern that gives you a lot of freedom. So when you write songs that are with basic chord progressions that might have those extra two notes that ring out that I'm talking about, you might find it a little um, rewarding with, with your songwriting experience, you know? I'm no professional here, I just kind of like to do my way, my tones, and share that with others. It's a way to express myself as an artist, but um, doing chord progressions that are simple like that, I find it easier to come up with lyrics, easier to come up with solo patterns and progressions to do over it and things of that nature. Um, but I hope that works for you and I hope you guys like this little short video segment, but that's how to write basically a song with a similar melody running through it the whole way in uh, less than five minute little trick there. Hope you guys like it. Continue to subscribe. Um, next video after this is going to rip your face off. <laughs> it's going it's to be very heavy. I'm working on something that's a little more extreme. Um, I play a lot of high gain stuff. My whole channel bases itself around high gain and you know, Orange, Diesel, Moyer, all these things that I'm talking about in most of my videos to gain the tones that I use. But the next video is going to be um, ripping. I'm working on something that's really cool. I hope you guys are going to like it, especially all the thrashers out there. Thank you, guys.